in this video we are going to customize Aspen Heise's workbook. Previously we have talked about the workbook over here, it comes from the simulation and workbook. If we click over here you will find all the data that you need. Uh, you have entered about the material stream, composition, energy and unit operation. Sometimes you need to customize uh, a specific information to be printed. So to, to do so, over here we have a workbook section and you can set up your workbook when we choose that we need to set up our workbook you will have these sections listed over here like material composition uh, energy streams and unit operation so for me i'm going to add a material uh, maybe a material stream and this material stream so you will have a material energy power streams these are the options so at the beginning sorry you here you have streams and for the streams you have these different streams so i'm going to choose a material stream so this is my new object for so now i have one material stream number one and this material stream has this following information for this material stream and is a variable listed here i'm going to customize so customize uh, properties properties uh, so now i'm going to add a specific uh, or a specific properties not listed over here so here for the material stream we usually have a vapor fraction temperature pressure and the flow in salby and uh, heat flow so i'm going to select all of this information and i am going to delete them because i don't want to display the custom properties for this specific properties so what i'm looking for uh, maybe i'm looking for the heat capacity so in this case you can add and look for the molar heat capacity so here i'm looking for letter m just press m on your keyboard and you will jump into a uh, letter m or physical properties starting with m so now i'm looking for maybe the molar um molar heat capacity so i'm having this one and i am going to add it so after choosing it over here and you press ok so now you will have the molar heat capacity displayed over here uh, so now this is the customized properties we can add more like the uh, mass density so press m again and look for the mass density and press ok so it will be displayed if we look over here you will find out that this information is displayed so this is displayed for the four streams that we have okay so for example if we have the temperature pressure already displayed and i want to track how the density of each stream will be changed or uh, the heat capacity we can customize our uh, workbook with a specific properties okay so um and now we can close this one and go back there and check uh, the mass density for each stream uh you notice that the density is completely different over here because we are uh, operating for each stream at different pressure and different uh, temperature okay so this is for the setup so again if you want to set up a specific information like for the composition over here you can do the so for uh, like here we have a mole fraction you can do uh, the mass fraction and so on okay so this one for uh, the setup uh, this is show subflow sheet object is also available over here like if you want to if you have a subflow sheet like moving forward when we have a template or subflow sheet for the distillation column uh, you it's optional for you to display the data or not okay so if we go over here for order and height and reveal over here so it could be manual or ascending or descending this is like the number um, so for this one for stream number one you can hide it for stream number two you can hide it so stream number one i don't want to as uh, the information to be displayed over here so if we go back to the composition it is removed for the material stream it will be also removed so if i want it to be shown back again you can select this one and reveal it back so it will be revealed over here so i this i want to move it in order so i move it up by this arrow okay so it will be one two three and four so this is how we hide and uh, uh, or show 
or reveal hide and reveal uh, the streams okay why this is important because sometimes we do some streams for a uh, calculations like moving forward when we are doing is using is adjust unit operation and we are adjusting two streams so you sometimes we create a stream just for uh, holding some information for us so then a stream shouldn't be displayed because it will make everyone using this uh, simulation confused so you can hide the information from the workbook over here okay uh, also um, so here we have covered this uh, section this is the workbook so if also if we want to uh, print this information into excel you can press here and choose which um, properties or uh, material streams or composition that you want to print so you can select all and now you can export to excel so it will be printed directly into excel okay so this is uh, for uh, the workbook uh, for the unit operation over here this one it's also available over here so you can also set up or um, show the subflow sheet. The difference here, you can ignore a unit operation, but it's difficult to hide it because each unit operation in the simulation will matter.